China's deep seek R1 is the new cool kid in town. It has caused the stock market to crash, made the investors crying, and the whole US is right now in chaos. But why do I care? It's not like AI is going to take over developer jobs. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not an AI expert yet, but I intend to be one in the near future. And I've been playing around these models like Gemini, OpenAI models, even DeepSeek now. And it's really interesting how these are being evolved. When I was asking DeepSeek, Google Gemini and OpenAI, a simple question about React of what's possible and what's not, they all gave pretty interesting answers. And in this video, I'm going to show you comparing those answers and see how they perform among each other. By the way, a couple of shameless plugs right now before we get in. This was actually done during a live stream. So the next time I'm live streaming, please come say hi and join the chat as well. Secondly, I was working on this React.js or Practical React.js Essentials course, which is in Urdu language or Hindi. So if you know Urdu or Hindi or know someone who does, you can definitely share this course with them because it's really, really good. It's really practical and it's obviously from one of the best tutors out there. Yeah. And just for the context, the question I asked all these three models is if React can have a route without any template, which means it's not rendering anything, but it's still a route. So let's see what they answer. We're going to try to pass Gemini 2.0. Can there be a React route that doesn't render anything at all? And I want to compare the questions within some uh, other prompts as well. So, or other AI models as well. Let's also ask DeepSeek as well. And we are going to use the DeepSeek's uh, R1 model. Even though it's a, it's like relatively easy question, I think still it would be interesting to see the thinking process here. And those of you who don't really know DeepSeek, DeepSeek is a Chinese company which released the version 3 model of DeepSeek. But this R1 is a model, an AI model that actually thinks or you can actually see what it is thinking. So now we are asking can there be a React route that doesn't render anything at all? And we're going to try the same thing with, with ChatGPT as well. So let's try to ask, we're going to try to use the O1 model, right? Let's compare the results from all of these, these AI models, not this one. So let's first have a look at what, what Gemini says, right? So Gemini says, yes, absolutely. You can have a React route that doesn't render anything at all visually. Here's how and why you might do it. So not only this tells how is it, it is possible but also why would someone you do it or why would someone do it at all? So the key is to render null or undefined within the component associated with your route. So here's an example. So here we're actually defining the router. We're defining the routes here and this silent route uses the null route component. Daniel, thank you so much for the follow. So, so here we have null component, which is being rendered in silent route. And why would you do it? So here there are several scenarios where you may need to do it, uh, performing side effects. So you could still go to a route and make an API call, for example, on the backend and, and you don't render anything at all, quite possible. So you go to the particular route, you make an API call, and then you navigate to the root Google Gemini 2.0 flash experimental, which is quite a nice model to be honest. Now let's have a look at ChatGPT. So ChatGPT thought about this for a few seconds and then said, yes, you can create a React route that renders nothing. Now, how does it work? Quite similar example. Here it says no UI. If we compare this to Google's response, the naming that they picked was a bit interesting. Wellington Sanvera. Good afternoon. I'm from Brazil. Hey, how's it going? So silent route was the one that they picked. And if I look here, it's like no UI. And in there, we still have a component. So you still have to give this component an element or a route an element, which is interesting. And in the no UI, you just return null. Instead of doing like a creating a component, you could just have given null here as well, which could still work. It's interesting what the response is. So first two things. One, it says how you do it, which is similar to what Gemini did as well. So it said how to create this. And then it also said, why would you use a silent route? And in here also it says, why you might do this, which is fascinating in terms of how this is responding. Both of the models are responding quite in a similar manner. Am I the only one who thinks this is a bit weird or is there a conspiracy theory here as well? Should we be like, what's happening here? But let's have a look at what DeepSeek R1 told us. So, so we're gonna scroll a bit up and this AI model, which is one of the latest AI models, which is being really hyped uh, in the AI community or developers community even is because it also shows you 
how it thinks. And the, the difference between this and the other AIs is that this model tries to reinforce the solution or the optimized way or, or the optimized answer based on its own thinking process, like a human, which is interesting. So here it says, okay, the user is asking if it's possible to have this and this and that. And then it's like, so in React Router, when you define a route using route component, you typically specify a component or element to render the path matches. So it's kind of analyzing what happens in React usually. And it's like, wait, sometimes you may might want a route that just performs some action like redirecting or fetching data without rendering anything at all. Now it also looks into React Router version six, which is interesting that this is where we have the navigate component coming in. So that's really interesting how this AI model tries to figure out things, which is, which is fascinating, right? And then if you look at the output that this AI model gave to my simple question, can there be a React route that doesn't render anything at all? Is yes, it's possible to create a React route that does not render anything. There are two common approaches. So render null in the routes component, which means you, you can say empty component here. And if it's the case that you are going to use this in other places as well, then you may as well just create this empty component and then you can use it like this. And the naming convention obviously is a bit different. So coming back to Gemini, Gemini called this silent route, chat GPT or 4O basically called this no UI. And then we've deep seek that just says empty. So first case is just rendering null. And then we have re redirect immediately. So instead of rendering anything at all, this AI model suggests that you could also use this for redirecting immediately. So in this case, you can use just navigate to and then go there. Now, if you want to handle side effects without UI, that means you're going to give this side effect component and use the use effect. And then you basically do something from here. So rendering nothing. This is interesting. Why? Uh, okay. Okay. So this is the component. This is the use effect. And you're basically returning null. That makes sense. Then we have the key takeaways. Now what lacks in this particular model is that this doesn't really talk about SEO at all. So, hmm. That's a bit, that's a bit sad. All right, so you saw the video and just before we wrap up, I want to summarize that what I asked it was basically the question of whether a React route can have no template at all, which means it doesn't render anything. And as you can see, both Google Gemini and the O1 model from OpenAI gave an answer in a similar pattern, which was why you should do it and then how to do it. But then also what can be the consequences or the results or something that I need to consider. Whereas the deep seek side, you saw that it gave the answer, but it was not concerned about SEO or if the code could have any consequences. So I would say that even though deep seek is really, really cool, it doesn't probably care about you a lot, or at least that's what I got from the responses so far. Prove me wrong. Bring something in the chat and let me know what you feel about it. But you gotta be careful. Obviously, I mean, yeah, we need to be careful about our data anyways. Well, with that said, I'm gonna be working on a couple of more videos in which we'll use AI in our code basis. So stay tuned and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you have not done so. As always, happy coding. I'm gonna see you in the next one.